Hi everyone, it's Be Divine. And this is, and welcome, welcome guys, welcome to Divine Miracles. But this is a, um, a frequently asked question about spirituality. And this question was asked about how can we know when we're receiving, you know, true divine spiritual messages or when it's just the ego talking to us? Or how can we awaken more to this and uh, bring it into our life? And so the very first thing that you need to understand is when ego is talking to you, it's talking to you in a different way than what the angels will talk to you. So it will say to you, oh, you can't do that. Oh, that's not really right. I'm just making it up. All of those negative type of things. Uh, it may also say things to you like if this is your ego talking, it may say things to you like you are number one you are Jesus walking here on earth um, <laughs> you know well some people think they are and um, you know that you're better than everybody else and that you're special in some way like more special than anybody else so you know you have this um, amazing mission that nobody else has got which is true to an extent but if you're putting ego into it then you're putting in some sort of um, you're putting in, well, you're putting in egotistical vibes into that. So it's sort of like you're saying to yourself, you know, I can do more than anybody else. And, uh, you know, there's nothing that I can't do. And people are not like me. And I'm better and I'm better and I'm better. It's those kind of wordings. So the angels and the spiritual guides and things like that, they won't talk to you like that. They just won't. So if you're receiving messages like that, it could be your own thoughts that are going on. Or it could be that you've listened to somebody else or what they've told you and you've believed this to be true within yourself. So there is a need to just say to yourself, I need to be humble. Okay, when the angels are talking to me, they are talking to me about being a wonderfully made person. That's true. Each one of us are. But we're also equal in the things that we can do. And we're also, you know, we are all given abilities, and we're all given healing gifts and all of these things and we're learning slowly how to tap into those. So when you're receiving the messages from the angels, it's always going to be unconditional love, unconditional love that just sits at the bottom of things. If someone is, if you're feeling like you're jealous or um, envious of other people, then that is not coming from the divine. That is coming from your own thoughts, you know, your own worries. Or your own feelings of um, insecurity within yourself so the angels or the spiritual beings won't do that to you so when you're receiving true messages it's all about as I said unconditional love and one thing that you can do if you're worried about the messages that are coming through for you and you've protected yourself and all those kinds of things if you're worried about all of that then you say do you come with unconditional love and do you come from the light these are the questions that you ask and you ask about three times. If they're not coming from unconditional love, you will feel a pulling back. They'll just pull back from you. Then you can send them to the light. So all of that is about trusting yourself as well. When you, you always know when something is right for you and something is not right for you. There's always a feeling within there. As you're expanding your awareness and expanding your abilities, it's natural that these, like some energies will be coming towards you because they are seeing your light and seeing your love. And I've made a video about protecting yourself and releasing yourself from, you know, a powerful release from things that you don't need anymore. These things are not completely healed. These um, might be spirits and, or guides or something that haven't had the complete training. But they're seeing you, they're recognizing you. They, they don't necessarily have an evil intent or anything like that but it's not necessarily the best thing for you because it's not coming with complete unconditional love. So this is the focus. If you are op trying to open your spirituality and you're hearing negative thoughts, that's not coming from anywhere other than ego. So please let it go and you know start again, take a deep breath, start again. And also remember that when you're hearing spiritual guidance, it's not limiting you in any way. So although you may get a roundabout figure, like you may say, okay, I want to know when I'm going to get married. And you might hear six months in your mind. Take that as a roundabout figure, okay? Don't take it as literal, as this is when it's going to happen. Because then if it doesn't happen, then you're like, well, that was just a whole lot of crap, you know, I don't believe in it. 
So don't take things as limits or uh, literally. Just take it to yourself, say, okay, that is a guidance for me. That is a, a rough guide. So if that's the sort of question that you're asking or asking other people, it should just always be, um, you know, a guide to you. And it's always up to your instincts what you do next anyway. It's always up to your intuition what you do next with your life. So someone can only ever give you guidance. They can't tell you exactness of anything because they make themselves look silly when that doesn't happen because you've made other decisions in your life. So opening up to your spirituality, uh, you know, opening your awareness, being sure that you are getting the messages from the divine means being strict about it and asking. Even in the Bible it says, you know, you always ask the spirit, are you from the light? It says that in the Bible. And you're supposed to ask, question the spirit. Are you, you know, where are you coming from? What are you doing? Is this unconditional love? And uh, they should, you should feel a response or you should hear a response to that. So that is how you can sort of tell between, you know, just egotistical thoughts and um, your spiritual, true spiritual thoughts. Sometimes things are a little bit muddy. The line can be a little bit muddy. So it's almost completely right for you, but you still feel that something's not quite right about the message that you're receiving. But there are still some other people that just go right ahead with that and say, yes, I am number one and, you know, I'm going to rule the world. And those, that kind of stuff is scary. We don't want to go there. And nothing from the divine or nothing from unconditional love will ever tell you that. You know, would ever tell you that you're superior to anybody else. It would tell you that, you know, you're beautiful and that you're peaceful and you've got all these abilities and you know you, you are able to help so many people or whatever it is because those things are uplifting to you but it won't single you out and make you feel like you know somehow you are above the rest of the people those things are not coming from the divine so I hope that that clears those little things up a little bit you can ask questions about it if you like sometimes it's hard on the spot to explain exactly what I mean but I just felt that that needed to be shared and I hope that you enjoyed it and until the next video it's goodbye from me. Bye everyone!